We are comfortably anchored in the serenity of Redfish Bay. The immediate attraction is the entrance to the river, which connects a large inland lake with the ocean. Steve and Christine go ashore in the small tender with its almost silent electric motor. While they are making their way through the forest, Chris and myself investigate the entrance in the large tender. A toppled tree is home for multiple species of new life. While those on the ground fight their way through the undergrowth, Chris flies our backup drone over an endless symphony of magnificent trees. Fallen logs cluster around the exit from Tumakoff Lake. Venture is the only evidence of human life for many, many miles. Christine takes a break on a fallen log. Just along the shore, a grizzly bear feasts on sedge grass. An adult bear can eat 30 pounds of grass per day. A deer keeps a wary eye, but in the past we have witnessed a mother deer with a young fawn within a few yards of grazing bears. The following morning is mirror calm. We retrace our course through the narrows. A lengthy log awaits a high tide to send it on its way to lay in wait for unwary boaters. A bald eagle watches us pass. 
We continue south towards the southern tip of Baranoff Island. The exposed coast is rocky and shrouded in the ever-present mist. Cape Omani marks the southern tip of Baranoff Island. Although the most southerly piece of land is a striking island, strangely named Wooden Island, and most of it is demonstrably barren rock with a wig of trees. These remote and turbulent waters are the haunt of commercial fishing boats earning a tough living. We call in at the remote hamlet of Port Alexander. There is a free government dock and we are surprised to see ample space to tie up. We go ashore and take the long boardwalk between the houses and among the trees. I see salmon berries, also enjoyed by bears. There is a post office tucked into the trees. Optimistic growth sprouts from the tops of pilings. A fishing boat precedes us as we leave the harbour. We continue north up Chatham Strait, heading to Tekats Bay. We stop en route at Warm Springs Bay, with its magnificent waterfall. Unfortunately, the small jetty is fully occupied, and there is little point in staying if you cannot walk ashore. The mist remains draped along the tree-lined shore. We arrive at lovely Takats Bay. Baranoff Island has a succession of stunning inlets. We visited almost every one in 2018, and these can be viewed in a previous video. Takats is one of the best anchorages. It is beautiful and large enough to accommodate numerous boats without undue overcrowding. Here is a photo of Venture taken from another boat in 2018. Steve and Christine make a quick recce of the river at the head of the bay 
which is only accessible at high tide. The following morning we are greeted by heavy rain which feeds numerous waterfalls down steep mountain slopes and along the shore. Undaunted, we head for the river, which is flowing fast. We cannot get far upstream due to the rapids. For those interested, this video was shot using an iPhone. It would have been impossible to shoot in the pouring rain with my regular camera. Back on board, nice and warm and dry, Christine cooks a delicious salmon dinner. The rain continues the following morning. Those boaters with dogs still have to make those trips ashore. Once out in the Chatham Strait, the water is rough. We make a short diversion into Waterfall Cove. In a black and white world, we enter Peril Strait, which divides Baranoff and Chichikov Islands, and will lead us back to Sitka. <laughs> 